Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about our trans brake control and our line lock feature in our Fuel Tech Manager software. So if we have an automatic equipped vehicle and we're using it for drag racing, chances are we're gonna have a trans brake feature. Now we can allow our Fuel Tech to control the trans brake when we're on the two-step or three-step. It's gonna be a great option to be able to get a bunch of load on the engine. If it's turbocharged, we can build boost off the line. Now in order to stage the vehicle, we have to have a way to have a creeping or a bump box effect to get it into the actual beams and stage it. And that's gonna be what the staging feature along with the trans brake control is gonna allow us to do. So I'll show you how to set up both the inputs and outputs to configure this properly and then the programming details so this is going to work correctly on your vehicle. We're also gonna take a look at working with a line lock solenoid option from the fuel tech. It can control a solenoid in a basic on off state, whether we're on the two step, three step or burnout modes in our controller. Or we're also able to take a look at using a pulse width modulated output based on brake pressure. So when you're using the line lock and you pump the brakes to build uh, brake pressure so it's gonna be holding you in place, we can find if you have inconsistent brake pressure, that's gonna be a problem. You're not gonna have consistency when you're trying to utilize that feature. By using brake pressure and by using the pulse width modulated output, we can bleed off the amount of pressure in the actual system so that it has the exact same amount of pressure when you're using the line lock solenoid. It's gonna be a really nice feature. So we're gonna go over both of these videos and cover all the details so you can set it up on your vehicle. Okay, so let's get started here. We're gonna be taking a look at setting up our brake line lock control and our trans brake staging control in our Fuel Tech Manager software. The very first thing we'll take a look at here is gonna be setting up our line lock control. Um, we're gonna to have to jump in here to our quick access panel. We're gonna move down in here into engine settings and then move into our map options. Under map options, we'll find under the drag race features, the fourth choice down or brake line lock control is gonna what we toggle on to make this feature active and work. I'm gonna to go to write ECU and just write this change. I am in the real-time disabled state, so I'm not gonna be real-time real writing any of the uh, features that I turn on in here. So now that I've written that change, we can find under the drag race features, it's gonna be appearing under brake line lock control. Now we can see here, we are first uh, portion of the programming is going to be our activation. So the activation is going to be telling it when we want it to actually turn on the line lock solenoid. Um, we can do it based on burnout, we can do it based on a three step, or we can do it based on a two step. But the most logical pairing with a line lock solenoid is going to be a burnout. So um, in a real drive car, we would use a line lock solenoid to the front wheels. And that's going to, when we pump the brake and we uh, power on the solenoid, it's going to be acting as a check valve and putting pressure on the front brakes, essentially locking the brakes up. So the rear wheels. Uh, the rear brakes would not be locked up and those are going to be our driven wheel so we would be able to start to get the vehicle up into its power band pop the clutch and start to do the burnout um, and then it would allow us to not have the vehicle move we'd be able to get the tires hot and as soon as we we're done we could depower the actual line lock solenoid and we'd go pull up and stage the vehicle and then be able to launch so the most logical pairing here will be the brake line lock solenoid, but we do have some other options. We can pair it with a three-step or two-step. That's gonna be activating the output. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you wanna see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you wanna go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here, and you don't wanna miss any of the videos we're gonna be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.